A few moments later. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Do you often overeat? I ask this question because I believe that most of us do realize that we do overeat but can't really get over it. We know that three chapatis would suffice but even then we tend to eat another one only to regret later. One is immediate regret of discomfort in the form of bloating or laziness and the other is the hard time your digestive system has assimilating the food. Most of the times the overeaten food fails to get absorbed properly and that one extra chapati in every meal again and again leads us to the road of diseases. Belly fat, skin problems, hair fall, lethargy, heart problems, diabetes, you name it. But not anymore. In this video, I am going to share with you 5 effective ways to easily get over the habit of overeating. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Ayurveda suggests that we eat one Anjali of food in one serving. That means the food that fits in your two palms is your personalized portion size. But today there is fuss around it as most people feel that eating less food will make them weak or malnourished. Even modern science after a series of researches have come to this conclusion that for any organism, if the caloric intake is reduced by 30%, it lives longer by 30%. So eating less is much much better than overeating. Starting with number 5, comprise your diet of all 6 tastes. According to Ayurvedic scriptures, a meal plan is perfectly balanced and satiating only if it offers all the 6 tastes to your tongue, namely sweet, salty, bitter, sour, astringent and pungent. This is the basis of our traditional thali system where all the 6 flavors are served in one plate in the right quantities. This also represents all the food groups and their nutrients. Remember when you were so full of food but still had a lingering craving for that dessert. This is simply because our body considers a meal with all these 6 tastes as complete meal. Experiment this on yourself. The next time you sit to eat, consciously take less food than usual. Now after the meal, eat a small piece of jaggery. See how you feel. Two things will happen. First, you will feel satiated. Second, you won't feel lethargic. I remember my mother giving me the last chapati with jaggery powder and ghee over it. It would make the whole meal so filling. You can even bite on a green chilli or have chutney along with your meal. The idea is to try and complete the six tastes. Keep add-ons. Ayurveda recommends that you include curd in breakfast, buttermilk after lunch and milk after dinner. Now this helps a lot in curbing the habit of overeating. Basically when you know that buttermilk is yet to come, you are happy to eat less for lunch. When you know that you can drink a glass of milk before sleeping, you are happy to cut down your dinner. Similarly you can even include fruits or fruit juices before breakfast or a vegetable salad before lunch. This way you will eat variety, eat less and feel full for longer. Even modern science tells you to eat real food if you don't want to overeat. This is because our body essentially needs nutrients, whereas our mind keeps on craving for that nutritionless burger. However, when we fall for our mind and eat that crappy food, we do feel happy for a while but our body is still in need of the nutrients. As a result, soon we get the signals of hunger again. Then again we eat something of that sort and the vicious cycle goes on. Whereas if you eat fiber rich whole grains, pulses and milk products for protein, nuts for healthy fats, fresh fruits and vegetable salads for vitamins and minerals, your body feels full instantly and you eat less. Take only one serving. Every time you are about to eat, eat all that you want to eat in just one serving. Do not refill your plate. Think back how you ate the last time you were at a buffet. Neither you remember how many food items you tasted nor how many different types of desserts you hopped on. All you remember is how badly you were stuffed. This is because you did not put all the food in at once. You kept refilling. Even at home when someone is constantly serving us puris, we keep on eating and eating until we can't take it anymore. So always take only one serving. Keep a variety of foods, sit quietly and focus on eating. Helps a lot. This brings me to the next point, eat slowly. The fact of the matter is that your mind gets sated after chewing for about 14 to 15 minutes. Every time you went to a party, dinner or whatever else, you could collectively eat for only about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, your brain sends a signal to your body. Stop eating, we've got enough food. 
so now it's up to you either you gulp four chapatis in those 15 minutes or slowly chew on two chapatis but how do we eat slowly one simple way is to eat hot fresh food another way is to chew on small bites the problem is that most of us today eat while talking to others watching tv working on laptop or messaging on mobile these distractions lead to overeating did you know that in the us in every dining hall there are instructions as to what to do if someone is choking on food even hollywood movies show a lot of such scenes but why are they choking on food never you will hear that in india that's because they eat and talk at the same time when you try to input and output through the same channel your body gets confused so if you just eat quietly slowly there is no chance of choking as a practice eat at least one meal in a day alone alone means without your mobile without youtube without netflix consider it as your date with food i sometimes play a soothing 20 minutes of instrumental music that helps me keep eating for that long if you're eating with spoon put down the cutlery after every bite and take time to chew finally wait for the signal this might have happened to you you went to a restaurant where the service was poor the waiter got really late in bringing your last order of chapati at that time you can't imagine eating the whole chapati but you would have definitely eaten had he brought it sooner this is because it takes time for your brain to send the signals of satiety to your body however by then we have already eaten that portion of regretted food so what to do one simple funda is this if doubt arises within you shall i eat the next chapati or not it's time to stop eating So these were the five most effective ways to stop overeating right from the very next meal. Just to recap, end your meal with a little piece of jaggery. You can bite on green chili or have chutney along with your meal. Basically comprise your diet of all six tastes. Key add-ons: have curd, buttermilk and milk after breakfast, lunch and dinner respectively. Eat a variety of foods. Eat fruits before breakfast and salads before lunch. Keep your meal balanced with whole foods. Take only one serving. Eat slowly. Chew your food. Eat at least one meal in a day alone. Your brain takes time to give the signals of satiety. Wait for it. When doubt arises, stop eating. So here is the thing. Once you start following these steps, you won't need any dietitian to tell you how much you should eat. You will start getting that message from your own dietitian sitting in your stomach, and that's an ideal state to be. If you're looking for a toxin-free face wash and face cream for your skin, Arata's refreshing face wash and hydrating face serum cream is one great option. Their face wash is flaxseed based, which is known for its anti-acne properties. With apricot seed powder, peppermint, and lemon oil extract, it not only acts as a mild exfoliant. Later, but also gives an icy cool sensation in the summers. Arata's non-greasy face serum cream with the goodness of rose hip and lavender oils gets absorbed quickly by the skin and promises to enhance the skin elasticity. It can be a great add-on to your nighttime skincare routine. Most importantly, both these products by Arata are 100% safe and absolutely free from all harsh chemicals. These two products are for all skin types and can be used daily. To buy Arata's cruelty-free nature-derived face wash and face cream click on the link down in the description box do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get a huge discount of 30% on your order so friends that's all for this video i hope you found it to be helpful if yes then please show me your support by giving this video a big thumbs up what next would you like to see on this channel comment below you can now support my work on patreon so that i can bring more well researched videos for you please do remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me you can also follow me on instagram where i regularly do q and a sessions my name is vivek i thank you so much for watching